I'm pleased to be able to share this devotional with you today. Once again, it is about God's love. God's love is a complex subject. It's a deeper subject than what our world gives us. And it's so important that we have an appreciation for what God's love is, especially when we're more lonely because of the coronavirus uh, uh, quarantine measures. And we may be wondering about God's love with all the things that are changing around us. And so it's natural that we might uh, be feeling a lack of love. And then, of course, it's confused even further when we listen to songs on the radio that speak about uh, love as being solely a romantic uh, relationship. Here I'm going to read some lyrics uh, from Abba. Abba's song is, I've been waiting for you. I won't sing it, but I will read the lyrics for you. You thrill me, you delight me, you please me, you excite me. You're something I've been pleading for. I love you, I adore you, I lay my life before you. I'll have you want me more and more, and finally it seems my lonely days are through. I've been waiting for you. Wow, somebody who's just been turned around by the meeting of one person. And yes, a one human person can change our hearts a lot. But nothing like our loving Lord can. And once again, I go back to Psalm 136 that shares with us something that he's done for each of us who have given our hearts and lives to Jesus. He has brought us out of slavery and brought us to himself. We have this lovely picture from Psalm 136, now reading in verse 10. To him who smote the firstborn of Egypt... For his steadfast love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them. For his steadfast love endures forever. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm. For his steadfast love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in sunder. For his steadfast love endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it. For his steadfast love endures forever but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his steadfast love endures forever. And you might be saying, that's about Israel years ago. Yes, it is, but it's a picture of how God brings us to himself when we offer our hearts and lives to him. Because previously, we were in bondage like the people of Israel, bound in our sin, always doing the wrong thing, not ever able to completely measure up to God's standards. But God brings us out with his strong hand, and he brings us out from our oppressors. My guess is many of you can think of changes that have happened in your life since you gave your heart and life to Jesus. And even though that might be not be the first thing on our minds today, what he's done for us, it's always good to remember and go back and say, God has brought me out. He has changed my life. And the way that he has changed my life, even if it's just a, maybe a year ago or many years ago, is an illustration of his love for you. Maybe you can think back on some things that uh, uh, he has changed in your life. How you've become less fearful. Maybe how you've become less anxious. Maybe how you've been able to trust him more. Or maybe there's a special strength that he's given to you to endure, to get through trials. All of those things are from a loving Heavenly Father who takes us out of sin like the people of Israel years ago, pushes away the pharaohs and the rulers in our lives, and instead gives us the energy that we need to walk in this world. All of this is an illustration of God's love. He loves you. He loves me, brothers and sisters. And we can be thankful for this deep and abiding, steadfast love in our lives. May God's blessing be with you today.